A small west side village may be forced to defund and disband its police force. The issue happening now in Cleves is different than other efforts we've been seeing around the country. WCPO 9 News anchor Tamika Artis joins us live from the Cleves Police Department after quite the emotional meeting last night. Good morning, Tamika. Yeah, good morning to you, Julie. Uh, it is all about money. That is the issue at hand. Uh, the idea of de defunding this police department here behind me and disbanding it, not a popular one for many residents here. They only have about 3,500 people that live here, but they certainly had a lot to say about it. They say you simply cannot put a price tag on safety, security, and peace of mind. A lot of those residents showed up at last night's council meeting. They were wearing masks, they were socially distanced, and they had a lot to say about uh, their concerns about disbanding this police department. In addition to cost issues, though, the department is having a tough time retaining officers. Now, if the department goes, the village would consider contracting with the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office. It was a decade ago the village lost its fire department, so many aren't willing to give up their police department without a fight. As many are concerned about response time and say they want more transparency from officials about the entire process. I think the people here are going to keep the pressure on. So if they want to find out what's next, I would, I would continue doing what they've done, which is virtually nothing as far as informing the people of this village. Well, we did speak with the uh, interim police chief. Uh, he was not able to go on camera, but he tells us he is just as frustrated as many residents because he is facing a major shortage right now of police officers, and he has to begin hiring very soon. He doesn't know what to do, and unfortunately, there is no timeline on when a vote on this issue will come forward. Reporting live here in Cleves this morning, I'm Tamika Artis, WCPO 9 News.